And the last team, Team Liquid, goes here. You're probably wondering what's happening here. Luckily, I'm not the only one by my side. I have Mad. Mad, I know you. We, you know me. But they don't know you. Tell us, what do you do? Hello, I'm Matt. Uh, I'm a tournament manager, and I oversee the tournament. You oversee the tournament. Okay, can you explain us what exactly is going to happen here? Uh, so, basically, we have all of our groups here already decided. We have two bowls and two balls in each bowl. The highest two seeded teams that came first will be placed in the first two balls. So, Cloud9 has the highest seed of the winners as their fourth, followed by Vitality. So those two teams are going to be in the first bowl that we draw. And then the second bowl will consist of G2 and Maus. All right, high seed, low seed, and it's up to someone to pick the balls. But it's not you that's going to do it. It's not going to be me. It's going to be our commissioner. Can we please invite here Alice, Alex Inglot? Please come here. Alex, you are the commissioner of this whole thing that is happening here. I know that you just arrived. How was your flight? Uh, very exciting. Thanks for asking. Uh, number one, I got the chance to wish Matt a happy birthday live on stream. Um, but perhaps more importantly, it's great to be here on Malta on the ground after so many years these seasons where we haven't been able to be here, finally to get the show here on the island. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the playoffs pan out over the next week. Over the next week. Well, then to do that, we first need to figure out who is playing against who. So, Alex, who will be our first team? This way, we're making sure that it's random. And also, this way, we make sure that like the top seeded teams are actually on the other side of the bracket. The first team is... Cloud9. So Cloud9 is going into this position, which means that the remaining ball, whoever is there, but obviously we already know because the high seed is Vitality, it is... Team Vitality. This way we make sure that Cloud9 and Vitality are starting on the opposite sides of the bracket. Now, the question is, what's going to happen to G2 or Mouse? Alex? G2. G2 goes in the third position, which means that the last remaining team... Surprise, surprise. Mouse. It is Mouse. Right now, we'll just mark, just for you to make sure to know where everyone ended. But Alex, this is where unfortunately you will leave us, but you will, you can like, you know, sit down, have a, a comfortable seat and also like judge and supervise us. I have full confidence in you. Awesome. Thank At least you. someone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Alex. Okay, Matt. Oh, I'm think. ready. Let's do this. We have Cloud9, we have Mouse, we have G2, and we have Team Vitality. By knowing this, we can assign our third places. Is that correct? correct? So the third place team in each group has to play on the same half of the bracket, but in the opposite quarter. So Navi came third in Group A, so therefore they are placed on the same side as Vitality, but on a different quarter. Again, for G2. It's going to be the outsiders. Can you guess? Uh, can I guess the rest? Yeah. I mean, I already can see that it's a complexity that we managed to get through, that managed to sneak in. And last but not least. And last but not least is Team Liquid. I, just in case, you probably don't see it, but there's Team Liquid that's like standing there like and watching all of this unfold, like already maybe like planning of uh, who, which are the teams they're gonna prac against, or maybe, I mean, who knows? But now, this is where the hard part starts. So it now becomes slightly more complicated. The second place teams are placed based on seeding. So first of all, we look for the highest place, uh, the highest seed 
second place team, which is FaZe Clan, and they will play on the opposite half of the uh, on the opposite half of the bracket as their B winners. So on the top half, and then we need to decide which is higher between Team Liquid and Complexity. Team Liquid is 13, Complexity is 19. Therefore, FaZe Clan plays against Complexity. And this way we make sure that, you know, like we have like, for example, like Outsiders and G2, they were in the same group and the, the, the time when they actually can meet is actually the semifinals. When it comes to the second spot, the only way how Outsiders, G2 can meet FaZe Clan is actually in the Grand Finals. So now we have uh, Furia, as they are the next highest seeded team that came second. Number five. Yeah. They obviously cannot play in the same half of the D bracket as their winners. So we are now deciding to place them either between Outsiders or Na'Vi. Na'Vi was second and Outsiders was 16. So therefore, Furia are placed against Outsiders. That so leaves now. us with only two teams. So which out of the next two te out of the final two teams is seeded higher. Heroic is 11 and uh, Fnatic is 18. So we'll start now with Heroic. So Heroic, we're in group, th uh, group C, so they cannot be on the top half, they have to be on the bottom half and it's pre-decided they have to play against Na'Vi. It's kind of like only one spot left in that half. And. Uh, there's only one spot on the entire board now. So there we go. Fnatic there we go. play against Team Liquid. So Team Liquid, this will be the first team you're going to face. Then it's going to be Mouse. But you are with FaceCon in the same, same half. So like we'll see how it actually goes. But yeah, I hope that this explanation helped you out, guys. Because I know when it comes to all of this, it's very complicated. But now like we actually saw it live. We saw like with all of the explanations. And hopefully there'll be a bit less questions. But I think we should have our commentators ready with one of the players. And we can actually get an opinion of an expert of all the things that just happened here. Is that true? Casters, are you ready? Yeah, it's, 